Oh, it's Cat again. I'm back. Uh, so, just reviewing a video, I, I started to do something uh, along the lines of what's going to happen to the faith and uh, history, what history tells us about what happens to faith in countries. But uh, I want to pause for a second. I want to go back and review something I was talking about, brand and timelines and uh, what is what is really happening or what he may or may not be supposed to do. So in the timeline video, I was talking about that uh, Blood Raven was actively discouraging him uh, against changing the past and um, giving him information that might be useful in the future. And one of the other things that I missed that is, uh, it was really a significant event in episode five uh, was the thing that happened to Hodor or Willis to turn him into Hodor. Um, you might have noticed that Blood Raven kept Bran there in the past. Like Bran, you know, he heard him saying, you need to go. And he said, yeah, um, you probably need to go uh, with your with your friends. Um, but then he put his hand on his shoulder and he kind of held him there. And as he held him there, um, the thing was starting to happen to Hodor. Right, Hodor Willis was looking at him. He was looking at Willis, and everybody's already talked about the fact that um, that obviously this thing that Brand did in the future. So no, Brand didn't warg into him um, while he was astro projecting, astral projecting. He didn't warg into him in the past to make him do something in the future. Um, he was just standing there and witnessing the impact of things that you do and how they could impact people uh, in the in time period. So changing things in the past, as we talked about, is already, we already know that's a bad thing because it might actually change the future into not a good outcome where things might be actually lining up to be a good outcome. So don't change things in the past. But also be cognizant of if you're gonna change something in the future. So Brand's getting all this knowledge. Blood Raven said, I'm uploading my brain to you. It's time for you to become me. Uh, and so you know, so you get all my knowledge all at one whack. Oof. Um, so you know the problem with that, when you think about that, is that uh, think about Bran trying to process all this information. Uh, it's like getting a massive upload uh, in, in your computer. And how long does it take for your computer to sort out these uh this gigantic upload right and and the brain the brain in particular and how the brain operates and how it sorts through memories and ideas and how it pieces it together uh if you suddenly had no memory and you got a, a shit ton of memory <clears throat> they would seem really confusing uh it would be really hard to sort this out and i think somebody's already talked about uh the how this might impact him in the future and I think that it will because he's going to have this information but um, it's going to be like pieces it's going to be like swirling around in his head uh, like a massive cyclone and uh, he's needing to pull out pieces if he's going to change something in the future or make sure something happens in the future he's going to need to find the right piece of information in the right time and that might be kind of hard so what might be Bran's role in the future? Well, part of me thinks he's gonna be Blood Raven in the fact that, um, not that he changes the past or that he even can impact the future, but maybe he's just the guy that knows everything. And um, by time he figures out the pieces of information that he needs, uh, he'll just be a witness. He won't actually be able to impact it or, or get people to do, or even if he does, he'll talk about it in such abstract ways you know these these ideas or thoughts kind of like prophecies right <clears throat> um, that uh, he and maybe nobody else will understand what it's really saying and it only become apparent after the fact so after things happen he'll say you know I think blah 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 and then something will happen and um, he won't necessarily have impacted it but something will happen and everybody go oh yeah that that thing he said that came to pass okay so um they'll start looking at bran as sort of the prophet right or some a prophetic being um or 
it'll just make him so crazy he'll retreat uh, into just looking uh, forever. He'll be like Blood Raven. Why is Blood Raven stuck in the tree? You're stuck in there with all these memories. You cannot take yourself out. So maybe that's his. That's just his role to be the uh, official, real historical witness and recorder of all things of the history. Um, <clears throat> so, again, why did Blood Raven make him stay there? He did not warg into Hodor in the past. He did it in the future, and it had such a profound impact on Hodor psyche and his entire being that it, in fact, changed his past. And it was something that obviously had been before and was again, right? It had to be in time. So you think about time as the loop. He's standing there watching it happen to Holdor or Willis, you know, 30 years in the past before Bran was even a, a, a sparkle in somebody's freaking eye. Um, so he's learning that him, you know, that everything he does is dangerous. So maybe he just won't do anything. Maybe he'll be too afraid to do anything because he knows something, uh, there might be some bad impact. Maybe he's afraid that he changes even something in the future that might end up, uh, uh, you know, impacting a sibling or a loved one or something uh, all the way through their life. Or maybe it already has. So, but, and a lot of people are speculating about that. Is Bran, is Bran doing things that, you know, are making this happen? Um, Maybe, but maybe he's doing it in the future. He didn't necessarily have to travel to the past. Is that confusing? Um, but based on the Hodor episode there, uh, he did something in the future, and it changed Willis in the past until he, all he could say was Hodor. Um, now, <clears throat> one other thought about that and, uh, and, and Bran and, and Hodor for a second. There is this thing about... Um, did Hodor know his entire life then, since it had such a profound impact on him? There was something in his psyche uh, that said what the outcome was going to be. So every time he saw White Walkers or the others, or there was some sort of danger or thunderstorm, um, he totally freaked out. And uh, several times Bran had to ward into him and sort of control him and, and make him go where he needed him to go. Um, so did he know this whole time? And was that some, wasn't that that like a bad thing that Bran did? So he sacrificed his friend. Um, and his friend had no choice. Could his friend have no choice? Right? <clears throat> well, there's this part of me that was watching the last little scene. And uh, Marine kept saying to Hodor, hold the door, hold the door. He's repeating it, Hodor, Hodor. Um, and you get this look on his face as he's holding it. And what it said to me right at that moment is that Bran was no longer inside of him. So did he have a choice? Um, I, I think it's going to haunt Bran because he's going to wonder if he didn't give his friend a choice. Um, but I think at the end, Bran was no longer inside of him, and in fact, Hodor um, accepted his part, and out of love, because hasn't he been doing all this long, he's Bran's friend, and he loves Bran, and he's been carrying him, and everything else, um, so out of love, did he sacrifice himself, and he actually made a choice, um, and Bran Maybe Bran doesn't know that, or he will never know that, and it'll be the thing that haunts him. So again, it'll be the thing that keeps him um, from, in the future, just doing crazy shit. Even though now he's got all this power, and Blood Raven has basically uploaded everything, and there's nobody there to guide him. Somebody else has talked about this already. There's nobody left to guide him. Nobody. <laughs> Who's going to tell him he to do things right or wrong, or how to maneuver around things, uh, et cetera, et cetera. He's going to have to sort that out by himself, or maybe he'll run into somebody that can help him sort it out, um, um, another green seer or somebody of that nature. But um, there you go. So Bran, he, did, he was not in the past changing the past. Um, he did not change the past, even though he might think that he did, and some other folks are probably imagining that. He actually changed, uh, he actually did something in the future that changed the, 
the past and it was something that was going to happen again and again. Uh, it, if it didn't happen again and again, when Bran was born and he grew up, Hodor wouldn't be Hodor. Cycle, the circle of time. Um, thank you very much. That's all I got to say about that one. And I think the next one I'm going to talk about uh, the history of religion and uh, what I think is going to happen in Westeros. Talk to you guys later.